Bear City is about to end. Each year, high school students have the chance to go wild with graffiti, but their canvas is about to be destroyed. This is one of the rare occasions when vandalism is legal and even encouraged. Since the 1960s, the junior class has been spray painting their names on this viaduct. We paint it over white, and that takes about a day to dry, and then we paint our names on it. The only names that remain are those of students who have died. That's part of the reason why so many people in this town are attached to the tradition. Students say it's something they've looked forward to for years. With me, it's a tradition, I guess. It's going to mean that we'll be seniors next year and that we'll get to roll the school, I guess. It's really a lot of fun. You just come out here and you spray your name and everything, and it's just kind of a mark to show with, uh, that you're a junior and you're coming up and the seniors are gone and it's kind of a joke. The class of 1997 will be the last one to take part in the tradition. The city is tearing down the viaduct because of safety concerns. It's part of our history. And even though it's not school-sponsored, I think if they tear it down tomorrow, right after we paint it, it's really unfair to us. Yvonne Black will be especially sad to see it go. Her daughter, Jennifer Gwaltney, died in a car accident last October. Yvonne is here to remember Jenny. Oh, she's, she's always part of their class, even though she's not here. And this is something that she, she dreamed of doing ever since we moved here when she was in fourth grade. She dreamed of putting her name on the viaduct, and she was going to put it in pink. And so I'm here to see that that's done. The city may tear down the viaduct as early as tomorrow. Some residents are trying to persuade city officials to let it stand a little while longer.